Hello people, I'm a guy in his bandana and welcome to another episode episode? I don't know if these are episodes or something to another video of Words for the Weekend and it's not on a weekend cause I made up that title and I'm too lazy to change it back Anyways, today for Words of the Weekend I'm gonna talk about a game that I really really like and, I, and that I played when I was little It's a really cool game, it's kinda like a novel or something like a detective kind of thing and that game is Professor Layton so today I'm gonna to be talking to you about both Professor Layton and all its features and how the game plays and why do I like it so much I should warn you that this video is gonna contain spoilers for well for the Professor Layton games anyways this video is gonna be maybe a little bit more organized cuz this time I'm doing a script isn't that right, um, past, I think past self me, cause I already, I'm already making the video, so the script must already be done, so isn't that right, past self? Uh, yeah, <laughs> stupid, <laughs> he's so funny, anyways, let's go, bye. <laughs> ah, Professor Layton, with his calming voice, his intellectual presence, and all of that good posture and hat and gentlemanness. Is that a word? If you were to ask me what is the example of a former gentleman, I would say without question, it's Herschel Layton. I always get a certain feel when I play any Professor Layton game. You just get a sense of adventure, mixed with a touch of somewhat of a classic novel or something. It just makes you feel like being in this weird world full of tea and books, adventure and puzzles. Just so, 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 so many puzzles. Although I love Professor Layton games, I've only been able to play two of them to completion. One of them being Blayton and the Curious Village, and the other one being Professor Layton and the Unwound Future. Yeah, yeah, I skipped Professor Layton and Pandora's Box, and the reason for that is... Uh... Why did I skip it? The real reason is... Because... I... Didn't knew that they... Had three games. I only knew about the first one. And the third one. I didn't know about Pandora's box. That's it. <laughs> That's basically it. And when I finally got my hands on Pandora's box, I was... I think I was starting college, so I didn't have enough time to play. Because I was busy being an adult. Can you see my adult face? <coughs> so pretty. Anyways, just with those two games, I was able to get invested in this cool world of manners and puzzles and questions. I even remember that when I when I was in <laughs> when I was in high school, I started to act like Professor Layton by trying to solve my friends' problems or just by hearing them out and doing the classic professor's hand in his chin thing. And then I like started to make out with her cat, and I don't understand, man. It's just. It's so hard to explain. Hmm, that sounds awful. And then I ate the fortune cookie and, 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 and I didn't know what happened. I, I, I tried asking for help, but no one listened to me. Hmm, that's so sad. I can't, I can't understand. Yeah, and, and, dude, what's with the, what's with that? Why are you doing that? What did you mean? The thing, you, what's, what's with your chin? It itches? Does your beard itch? I, I don't understand, well, why are you doing that? Hmm. I don't understand what you're talking about. And what's with your voice? What, what's with this accent that you're doing? What, what are you doing? I don't understand what you mean. My accent has always been like this. And my hand has always been on my chin. Uh. <laughs> yes, yes. Soon I will crack this puzzle of yours. Mm. Mm. 
I think I, 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 I gotta go, dude. <laughs> See you, man. The games of Professor Lake mostly focus around a weird phenomenon that's going on in their world. It's kinda like a novel or a classic detective investigation when you're trying to solve this crime or accident that happens. Something that is way bigger than you alone but you're still trying to solve it. It's, it's, it's kinda like a challenge to push your mind and really make you think about why things are happening and how and what's behind all of this and who's the bad guy. Is that the bad guy or is him the bad guy? Or are you the bad guy? You never know, because it's always a mystery. These games always end up in a huge plot twist in which everything is, you thought was a lie, and the truth just like slaps you in the face. I don't understand this part of the story. It's so weird. I can't. I can't. How? 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 Do, how are they gonna explain this? Hey. Whoa! 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 What? What are you? And and, and why? <laughs> I'm a plot twist, and also, I'm the truth. Here you go. <gasps> and, while you're busy doing all this detective-like stuff and getting to solve the mystery, you get introduced to the very core of these games, and that core is the puzzles. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not like the, the Zelda puzzles that are really complicated and all that stuff. Mm, well, actually, these are complicated, but not that to that extent. But it's just... Just puzzles. Puzzles. Professor Layton is more than an adventure. The other main focus of these games is having you solve puzzles while you go through the story. Some puzzles are related to the story, while others are just a fun distraction for you to think and use your knowledge. Cause you have to be smart to solve them. Not like me. I'm not that smart. God, I feel <laughs> I feel bad now. All puzzles are worth a certain amount of points that help you unlock extra features in the end of the game. These puzzles can be found by just talking to people, or simply by touching a certain object or an item. Although I can't help but imagine how funny that would be in real life. Mostly when you find a puzzle by touching an item, the characters have a conversation about this item, and then the, pop, the puzzle just pops up and you solve it. You know, simple enough. But other times it's kinda like a weird reason like you touch an item and he's like oh there's a puzzle in here so the puzzle was just there waiting for someone to find it and and solve it and wait wait what anyways it's just weird that a puzzle will be just standing there could you imagine you just walking with your friend and he certain suddenly touches a wall and he's like oh wait dude there's a puzzle here. That's cool. Dude! Look at this! What? 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 What is it? Look! There, there's a puzzle! Right here! Right here! A puzzle! On the wall. There's... There's a puzzle on the wall. No! Dude! Look closely! There's a puzzle right there! There's nothing. That's just... It's a wall. There's nothing there. Just... Regular wall. Oh, come on! Get close! You'll see it! Uh, all right, let's see. So, dude, <laughs> there's a puzzle in here, like for real. Ha! I knew it. Now try and solve it. Every puzzle has an answer. No, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. There's nothing here. You, 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 you should go and see a doctor. Cause your eyes are just. Another thing that I really like about these games are the characters. Well, I think that's kind of obvious since I sort of like acted like Professor Layton like in high school. Yeah, you should probably not do that because your friends are gonna think you're weird or that you think you're in an anime in an anime world or something. So just just don't do that. 
Leave that to me. You, you don't do that yourself. There are so many characters in the Professor Layton series, but the two most iconic characters in every game are, um, of course, the, the name of the game, Professor Layton. Herschel Layton is in, in the main character of these games, and his apprentice, Luke Skywalker. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait. Look, 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 try, Triton, look, Troy, how do I pronounce that? How do I pronounce that name? It's me, Luke Triton. Oh, uh, thanks, Luke. Or should I say, Clive? <laughs> that that that's 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 his true identity. From from that clip that I showed you, that's not Luke. That's Clive. Wait, is that a spoiler? Right. I think I think that's a spoiler. Did I say there was a spoiler warning at the beginning of this video? I think I did. If I didn't, then, um, surprise? And sorry. There are a lot of other characters in these games, but if I try to pick a favorite one, it will be hard, because they're fun, and they're weird, and they do stuff, and they're cool, and they do things, and they're cool. I think I already said that, but they're cool. And I... I don't have anything else to say. Uh... Moving on. I know I've said I like a lot of things about these games, but the one thing that is just perfect is the music. As I'm writing the script, I'm actually listening to the Professor Layton soundtrack, and it's also the music that I'm using for the background of this video. For the the, 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 the background, the, the music in the background. It's just so relaxing, but also so exciting at the same time. It's another aspect of the game that really sets you up for the atmosphere and makes you feel like you're part of this world. The score is just perfect for this type of game, and it always makes you want to be all fancy and gentleman-like. I don't like tea. <laughs> just realized it's a Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Cup. Whoops. Ah, what a great video. Just, just kidding. Was it good? Please. <laughs> Did I make it good? Ah. Anyways, now. <laughs> Anyways, now you know why I like this game so much and why I played it a lot. I really wish I could play the other parts. The. I think I don't even know the titles of them. I think one's about a mask or something. But I haven't played the other ones, and I would really like to play them like in the future if I can. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you like this different style of making the video with narration and script and all that stuff that I never do because I'm lazy. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, well, you can leave a like and leave a comment about what you like about Professor Layton if you have played a Professor Layton game before. And if I was smart and clever with, with the script. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.